If you are thinking about starting to add a few Hermes pieces into your collection or if you are wanting to start your Hermes pre-spend in order to get offered one of your dream quota bags, then I am here to share with you guys a few pieces that I have in my collection. Kind of do a rapid fire if I think they are worth it, if I would repurchase them again and give you a little bit of my opinion in regards to each category. I also have a wish list piece which I was able to pick up in my latest visit to my boutique and I I also want to share that with you as well. Hi guys, today we are going to talk about everything Hermes. I feel like Hermes and the Hermes journey, the Hermes adventure, Hermes experiment has gotten such a bad rep and even though I see both sides of this argument, I want to share with you guys what it is that I have picked up during the time that I have started shopping at Hermes. At the end of the day, my biggest advice is to add and to buy what you really like, what you're really going to use and what you feel that's worth your money because don't get me wrong, there are certain things in this fashion house that I will definitely never spend thousands and thousands of dollars in because for me personally, I just don't think that it's worth it. My Hermes wish list is never ending and I have to blame partially Hermes Bomb Bomb for that. She is a Instagram page that I follow just when I think that I'm okay, that I have just a few little extra things in my wish list that I want to add, drops a whole bunch of beautiful pictures of different articles or different items from from Hermes and then there goes my wish list extending an extra 10 new items. So this one has been on my wish list for quite some time. I actually decided to explore another category of this, but ultimately knew I wanted to add this pair. Hint, it's a pair of shoes. And what sealed the deal for me was when Girl Gone Lux actually added them. So my friend Cece here on YouTube and on Instagram, she added hers, loved them. So I was like, okay, if you think they're comfortable, then I know I'm definitely going to love them. So let's get right into it. I actually picked up two little things. I went in with a certain idea of something that I wanted to look at completely forgot to look at that and ended up walking out with this pair of shoes but I will be back because I was talking to my essay about a particular Twilly that I want to add and she told me that she can get it ordered for me and let me know once it's in the boutique so two little things I picked up of course I could not walk out with a nail polish I feel like I am slowly but surely building the perfect Hermes nail polish collection. I don't love all the colors that they have because I do think that some are very close in color shades. However, there are some that I still don't own that wanted to own. So this is one of them. And going into the fall season, I feel like this is the it color from Hermes and it is none other than their famous Rouge Ash. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. It is like this very deep red slash burgundy tone and I think that it's going to be absolutely beautiful going into the fall season. I love red nails overall. I think they're so classic. I feel like you can wear red nails year round. However, this deeper kind of like merlot sort of tone i definitely see it more fitting towards the fall and winter season so i'm excited i was able to pick this one up and then for the main piece that i walked out with it is right here this is my little receipt which we don't have to look at that again and they are going to be as i mentioned a pair of shoes i've mentioned to you guys that we are taking a trip to doha later on this year and i feel like this is going to be perfect for some of the looks that i have planned here's what it looks like inside we have two little dust bags and they are none other than the famous legend sandals in the color black so i went back and forth for many many months trying to decide which color i wanted to add first because i feel like these are gonna be kind of like the oasis in the sense that once i add one pair i'm going to want to add the second pair but i ultimately ended up going for the black as i said i'm planning some looks for doha and I thought that the black would be more appropriate for those kind of looks and I definitely want to break them in in order to take them to Doha. I think these are perfect because they have like the perfect heel height in my opinion, not too high and not too short. They are a little bit higher than the Oasis, but sometimes I kind of want that little extra height in my heels. I love heels. I love high heels, but I also really like, sorry, that was my phone. Okay. 
back to this but i also really like to have like a short heel for kind of like casual looks and then a kind of like in between for whenever i want a little bit more height but don't want uncomfortable shoes and i have high hopes for these just because my oasis have turned out to be so incredibly comfortable i love this style i love anything that ties around the ankle for me personally and kind of like how my legs are which are a little bit on the thicker side i feel like it looks really really nice i feel like this look really anybody can pull it off if you have beautiful long legs i think this will look stunning on your legs as well now that i shared what i picked up with you guys let me know down in the comment section if you do own the legend what do you think about them do you find them comfortable do you have any tips or tricks for me in order to break them in a little bit easier i did try them on in the boutique and they felt nice so i hope that they are going to be comfortable but with shoes we just simply never know let's get into the categories which i have purchased from hermes and i feel like hermes has a huge wide range of categories that you can choose from in order to build your pre-spend at the end of the day i repeat myself over and over again but i ultimately feel like building a good friendly enjoyable relationship with your sa is what's going to really make this experience enjoyable overall. Whether it is that you want to obtain a quota bag for a specific milestone, or whether it is that you just wanna have a very, very long lasting relationship with an Hermes SA in order to be able to add pieces here and there, that relationship with your SA is for me the most important part about everything. With all that being said, let's start off with all of their silk products, which I am a huge fan of. I own honestly about five, six twillies and I'm just starting. I love silk little bandeaus and scarves and twillies I own from Hermes, but I also have from a ton of different fashion houses, including very inexpensive ones from Silk Philosophy that I love sharing with you guys over on Instagram and talking about them with you all. But my Hermes ones are definitely some of my favorite just because I love like the illustrations and the color combinations that they come out with. I think that these are great little additions in order for you to start your pre-spend with Hermes. I also feel like going the silks route is something that is not too, too expensive. Again, if you like the silk items and those items can actually help you kind of start building that relationship with your SA. I personally enjoy styling the twillies, not only on my handbags, but I use them as belts, as neck scarves, as like little wrist kind of accessories. And I like doing the same thing for the bigger scarves. So I own a 40 centimeter, 90 centimeters. And then I also have a shawl, which is a mixture of silk and cashmere and even though those are stunning pieces like anything in Hermes they are pretty pricey so always be attentive as to what it is that you actually will enjoy using in your collection because you might just add something and it might just end up sitting there just to add a thousand two thousand dollars to your pre-spend I honestly never went about it that way I always built a wish list and in that wish list, I would consider, okay, what am I gonna use this for? Am I really gonna use this as much as I think I will? This is very cute, but is it practical? Is it worth the money? And that's kind of like the questions that I would go through in my mind. I feel like your essay will also pick up on if you're just going in and adding random pieces, rather than actually going in and asking for things that you really love and enjoy. So silk pieces are one of my favorites. Again, highly recommend them if you enjoy them. If you don't, then I definitely feel like you should hold off and put that money towards something else. Example being shoes. That's another category that I've definitely built a pre-spend around. Both my husband and I actually really enjoy Hermes shoes. My husband is very subtle when it comes to luxury. He doesn't like any loud logos or anything colorful. And Hermes does basic, simple sneakers just the way he likes them. So he actually owns two pairs from them. He also really likes their belt, which we'll get into the leather goods in a moment. But yes, shoes, I think it's a great option as well. I do think that their shoes, based on the price that they have, you can definitely build up that pre-spend pretty quickly depending on how many pairs of shoes you purchase. And I honestly cannot say anything but amazing things about all of the shoes that I own from Hermes. I'm putting aside two in particular, one being the Legends, because I just got them, and 
and the second being my Jerry or Gary sandals I do have a full like kind of comparison video in regards to those on my Valentino's but unfortunately those didn't work out as well as I had hoped they would and that can happen guys that can happen with anything in life you know you have an idea of something either going well with your outfit or with your style working out being comfortable being practical and it turns out that it's not so it's okay it's part of adding things into your wardrobe and something that works for somebody might not end up working out the same way for you i really love the agari sandals i thought that they were so fun and so cool for like the summer and especially going to the beach and the pool but unfortunately as i shared in that video they're really not my favorite go-to kind of summer shoe for the reasons that i state in that video so i'll make sure to leave that linked in the description box down below in case you want to check it out besides those i love all of my other shoes let's dive into the small leather goods really quick and i might surprise some of you because as i was kind of doing my little list to do this video i was like really may you're really gonna like say that but yes here we are I do have the Hermes Kelly Pocket Compact Wallet. The name is so long and I always get it mixed up. It's beautiful, absolutely stunning. I'm not taking that away from this piece. And then I have my Calvi Duo, which is the one that basically opens up like a regular Calvi. And then you have an additional kind of little pocket here. This is where I say that it's funny because would I go back and repurchase these pieces? Yes and no. So... <laughs> <laughs> right now i am at a point where i honestly rarely use a wallet so again this is just kind of going off of my personal life at the moment what i use and don't use at the moment that i added this piece i loved having a wallet inside of my bag i would use a wallet a little bit more however now i kind of don't and even though i shared it in a previous video i didn't want to be that apple pay girly I have kind of turned into one. The phone is always in my hand, so it's just so easy to like and then tap and pay that I rarely go in and actually pull out a wallet. So we're talking about a thousand five hundred, maybe a thousand six. I think it was like a thousand six when I purchased it. And like I think this one's five hundred. I honestly would not have repurchased this and just stuck with the Calvi, which is funny because the Calvi was actually in my video where I say things that I will never buy from Hermes. It is the Calvi. I ended up adding it in the duo because I do feel like I would enjoy it more that way. I love having like the additional little pocket. I like like pockets. I don't know why. I hate when things are just simple and like basic. I kind of like things to have a little bit of spruce to them. So I really love the pocket in the Calvi Duo. I also really really love the color but again you could probably find this one in a nice pop of color. For the most part I do think that these are extremely difficult to come around so I am glad that I have it because I fell in love with this wallet when doing research and kind of discovering things to add to my Hermes wish list but I would have just gone the Calvi route, got in the Calvi, and then added something else with the price of this wallet. Just my two cents, just my opinion, as I have had these pieces. I still really enjoy the fact that I have both because if I didn't have them, then I wouldn't have been able to build this opinion and share it with you guys. But if I was going back in time, knowing what I know now, I would have just stuck with the Calvi, added it still in a fun pop of color, and then and put the remainder of the money to something else that I would use a lot more because this little bad boy is just kind of like a decorative piece when I do use her and it really pains me to say that to be honest but I still love her she's still remaining in my collection I still switch my things in and out of and make sure to incorporate this one from time to time moving on to another piece and that is going to be kind of like my table wear <laughs> those are going to be my Hermes mugs so I do have three kind of two really but three i have one that was gifted to me by my brother and my sister-in-law extremely generous gift and then i have two of the same ones because i initially added one my husband dropped his protein shake bottle on it it cracked didn't fully break i kind of now use it as a little flower vase in my display area but i love that mug i think it's so cute I love the design of it so I ended up adding it again I don't think that tableware for me is something that is worth it at all to be honest I 
I'm not a huge like house decorator kind of person. I love to put my money towards other things. So for me, it's not something that I see myself investing and getting like tableware sets and things like that. However, if it is something that you honestly enjoy, if you feel like you have the budget for it, or you're okay with the price tag of these pieces, because I think that these are some of the higher price pieces that Hermes offers, then by all means, go for it. I do know that a lot of people mention that if you do shop fine jewelry, tableware, or ready to wear, of course, then that is your biggest chance as to getting a quota bag. And I have previously addressed this. Yes, it makes the chance better because you're spending a lot more in one visit because these are higher priced items. But I don't agree in the fact that you must add from these categories in order to get offered a quota bag like a Birkin or a Kelly. So for me in particular, I just have those two mugs. And then as per the other category, I don't have anything from ready to wear. I rather spend it on other things that I get to wear and kind of like repurpose a little bit more often. However, with that being said, I have bought from their jewelry section, both their kind of like fashion jewelry and fine jewelry. And I recommend those also 120%. I love adding like fun either pops of colors into my jewelry selection. But then at the same time, I do like having dainty pieces that I can grab whenever the time is appropriate. So the set that I have from them is actually in rose gold, which I absolutely adore. Hermes does rose gold so, so nicely. It's very subtle, but you still get the perfect hint of rose in the gold. So I really, really enjoy my whole kind of set that I have in regards to that. Now let's talk about the Hermes belt, which I definitely own too many of. So therefore I think they are a great addition into your collection. I feel like a belt is a piece that you definitely can incorporate so many ways into your wardrobe. My husband loves his. He actually has two different belt straps and one belt buckle. From what I know, you can definitely add a belt buckle and a belt strap as your first purchase. There on after, you can add any strap to match that buckle. However, you cannot just purchase an independent buckle. So anytime you choose to buy a buckle, you have to add a belt strap to go along with it. So I really like the fact that once you have one specific buckle, you don't have to add other buckles if you don't want to, but they do have different strap width. So I feel like the belt possibilities are endless. I love that they do have reversible belts as well, because for me, that just kind of gives you a buy one, get one free situation. But I will also point out that I love my Kelly belts. With that being said, do I think that they are a little bit overpriced? I personally do. Again, I love them and I will repurchase all three of them if for whatever reason they were gone from my collection because in my personal opinion and for my personal style I feel like they are very versatile because you could adjust them depending on how you want to use them and at the same time I just feel like they are very sleek very chic and very classic for my wardrobe in particular however that depends on you and your personal style as well if you feel like they are definitely too pricey and are not worth it, then going the other route is a great idea. For the price that you pay for one Kelly belt, you can definitely add one buckle and two different straps. So technically end up having four belts in total. So you just gotta like learn your way around the Hermes game, play the Hermes game to your advantage and kind of ultimately add just things that are more suitable for you and your personal style, your personal life and so on and so forth. Now diving into bags and the ones that I have added, my idea for adding a non-quota bag into my collection was because I wanted to get kind of like the luxurious feel from the Hermes leather and the Hermes craftsmanship that they have in their bags. And you definitely get that and feel that right from the start, I think in any bag that you honestly add. I added the Picatin first, but I do think the Evelyn is kind of like a first go-to for a lot of new Hermes clients, simply because I do think that it has a friendlier price point compared to other handbags that they do offer. And second, I do think that it is a bag that suits a lot of different lifestyles. You have the smaller one, and then you have the 29 if you kind of like that bigger type of handbag. 
And again, I do think that these are easier to come around. I have seen instances where people kind of just walk into the store, connect with someone. I do feel like knowing a little bit about the brand, having a little bit of a conversation with your essay, kind of talking about certain other pieces rather than going straight in and diving for, hey, do you have this handbag? Does help you simply because I feel like they want to get the feeling that you're not just there to get a bag and walk out. This unfortunately has gotten kind of this reputation due to a lot of people being resellers also. So I do think that going in and being a little bit knowledgeable about one, what you're going to ask for and two, just the brand as a whole really will help you kind of get the trust and gain the trust of the essay that you're dealing with. So just my two cents. But again, I might be wrong. I am definitely not a Hermes expert. I don't pride myself on being one. I just share with you guys kind of my experience here for fun. But yeah, I do think that it, both the Evelyn and the Picatin are kind of also sort of the easier ones to get, if you could say that. But we all know how Hermes works and kind of like their politics around everything. So at the end of the day, it's kind of just a hit or miss. You could walk in and get lucky. I mean, we know of people that walk into boutiques and get lucky and get offered a Birkin or a Kelly with little to no pre-spend. So it is what it is. So yeah, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I kind of just wanted to sit here, obviously share with you the new piece that I picked up and kind of give you my two cents in regards to what I have added. Do I still love it? Kind of if I would repurchase it again, do I think that a certain category is a good route to go to build your pre-spend? If you guys have any sort of questions in regards to anything Hermes related, I would love to chat with you in the comment section down below. I am by no means a pro, as I said, but I definitely like to just share with you guys my experience, kind of give you a little bit of feedback and also my opinion. As always, I appreciate you guys for taking some time out of your day to hang out with me today, and I hope to catch you all in my next one. Bye, everyone. Bye.